If you're looking for a place to buy cheap Fallout 76 bottle caps, legendary weapons and a bunch of other cool stuff, click on the link in the description and use my code SQUALLY for 5% off. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about an interesting topic and I think a lot of people are going to be happy, but I also think a couple of people are going to be upset with what is going on right now. So basically a lot of emails are being put up on the internet showing that people are being unbanned and they've received emails from Bethesda saying they are allowed to come back to the wasteland. So they can basically play again, they can make a new account because what it looks like, it looks like their previous accounts have been deleted or everything from their accounts have been deleted. They, they call them, they're calling them corrupt characters, saying that everything in those accounts have been deleted and they can no longer use those, but they can create a new character and play with that. So what I'm reading on the internet is a lot of people are basically commenting and they're very negative towards the saying they should not be allowed to play again and it's just going to end up with a whole duping fiasco again. A lot of people are trying to enter the developer's room and shit like that. I'm not really sure because in the email it clearly states if you uh, do any further violations of the terms and services or the code of contact, you will result in a permanent deactivation of your account. So I think it's pretty clear that Bethesda is not going to allow anything to happen again. So I think all these characters, all these players are really going to you know, abide by the rules and not dupe again. Now I know it's difficult listening to any of this coming from me because I'm also a glitch YouTuber. But I've decided to contact, I mean like, you know, comment on this whole thing because I don't see it as a negative thing. I see it as a positive thing because so much more players are going to be back in the game now. Will all of them play again? I'm not sure because you'll have to start all over again. And only if you really love this game, then you'll play again. If they didn't really care that much about the game and they were just having fun by duping and just, just you know, glitching the whole time. I'm not sure if they'll play again. But a lot of new players, or a lot of old players are going to be back in the game. And I think that's good for the environment of Fallout 76, just having more players. And that'll be very good. Also, it's it's just that Bethesda cares about its players. And they're willing to bring back people into the game, even if they did not abide by the rules. So, I'm really happy to see this from Bethesda's point of view. It, it look, From my point of view, it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. So, I'm going to read the email for you guys right now. And I'm going to show it on the screen. So, as you get it goes like this. Greetings, following... A th uh, I can't read that. A thorough investigation. We have reactivated the Fallout 76 account and you should be able to log in once again. Additionally, one or more characters have become corrupt due to the number of items within their inventory. We've had to remove these characters in order to restore the game access. While these characters can no longer be selected, you can you may rejoin the wasteland by creating new ones. So basically what they're saying there is that they have deleted your old account but you can still create a new account. I would be quite pissed off because I know a lot of these players probably had a lot of stuff and some of them might have not even duped actually. They could have maybe just done it once or were in an area where other people were duping and it looked like they were doing it as well. Or they could have just picked up duped items. So it's kind of unfair but I guess at least you can play again. We understand that uh, with these uh, suspensions have lasted for some time. However, we wanted to ensure that all the necessary, uh, all the necessary precautions could be accounted for. And protections put in place to safeguard our community. Also, please note any further violations of the terms and services or code of contact will result in a permanent deactivation of this account. So what they're saying there is if you do anything against their rules, you're going to be banned for life. You're not going to be able to play again. So they're kind of just warning you right there. You can play again, but do not fuck up. Uh, don't fuck with us again because we will not let you play again. Please, and then they just finish all by saying, just please take a few moments to review our terms and services or code or contact. I ain't code or contact. So, what I'm reading here is all positive. They just, they're bringing back people into the game. And I don't know if everyone is getting this email or not everyone's going to be allowed back in the game. It might only be a sound people. I've seen a lot of posts about this situation. So, I'm guessing most people are going to be put back into this game. And I take that as a huge positive. So, Please let me know what you guys think and if you think this is positive or negative. I'm I'm thinking this is very positive. I'm happy people can come back into the game. And yeah, that's to me, it's a good thing. I know a lot of people don't think it's a good thing. I'm going to get probably hate for saying I think it's a good thing. But you know, I don't care. I just want people to know that people are coming back to the game. And it should be good for all of us. Hopefully they abide by the rules. No duping. Duping is a no-no. <laughs> I think we all know that by now. But anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I really appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel. And that's all for today. And Squally out.